change. When I was at a conference on the doctrine of creation three years ago, one of the speakers offered a critique of what he called Darwinism. During the Q&A afterwards, an evolutionary biologist from a major university stood to his feet and challenged him. Why do you keep talking about Darwinism, he said. Darwinism has been dead for over 100 years. The speaker replied, well then, neo-Darwinism. At which the biologist replied, neo-Darwinism has been dead since the late 1960s. And the speaker didn't know what to say at that point. Now, I was more than mildly surprised. Neo-Darwinism is dead? Haven't we been taught for years that it is an incontrovertible fact? That those who challenge it are either religious kooks or ignoramuses on the level of flat earthers. The modern synthesis, which dominated 20th century biology for much of the century and which most of us learn in schools, is dead? I recall a remark in this connection by William Dembski about mavericks who challenge a scientific paradigm. Dembski said, at first they are simply ignored. Ignore them and they'll go away. When they don't go away, then they are ridiculed and laughed at. As their critiques continue and can no longer be ignored, they are refuted by advocates of the established view. Next, they may come to be tolerated, and finally the response to them is, well, we knew that all along. Oh, um. <laughs>